Hey there guys, it's Richard from Ghost Hunter Gaming, and yeah, it's about that time. I'm pretty sure for the past few weeks you guys might have seen all over the internet videos about the current state of Warframe here in 2020. Now, despite the fact that I probably don't have much to say in regards to anything new or original in regards to the state of the game at the moment I feel I'm, I felt that I might as well put my own two cents in now at the time of this now at the time of the recording of this video just in case anyone watches it at some point in the future the Scarlet Spear or the Operation Scarlet Spear update has come came out on the PS4 I believe it was last week or the week before and in case you guys are probably in case you guys are wondering why I'm not showing any footage from doing Scarlet Spear honestly I was just kind of disappointed by it I gave it a few, I gave it a few goes mainly during mainly doing ground on the salt because I could never actually get into an aerial into an aerial combat game aim even if the even if there were apparent even if there were squads open I could never actually get into a match in the railjack but I did a whole but I ended up doing a whole bunch of ground combat now I want I do want to say there are good things about Scarlet Spear. The concept of having all the players working together towards one big towards one big goal that is to stop the sentient threat that has been built up since the early days of the Natar quest line. That's a good idea, especially since the especially since the sentients are supposed to be built built up to be this massive galaxy threatening quest or well, this galaxy threatening in menace that everyone needs to put that that everyone needs to put their heads together in order to take out that would include corpus grenier and tenno in infestation not so much because well it's the infestation we I'm pretty sure we can cut them a break but yeah, everything. Yeah, everyone else could come. To, everyone else could come together and combat the sentient threat altogether. Now, I'm sure we're probably gonna get something relating to the corpus and the grenier agreeing to even temporarily work with the Tenno in a future update like say maybe the second part of the new of the new war storyline because we're currently in the first part with Scarlet Spear but it still feels kind of idiotic to have Sargus Rock basically just be like oh the ten oh the Tenno are out to destroy all these sentients I'm gonna stop the Tenno from destroying these sentients because it just adds unnecessary it just adds unnecessary challenge to something actually no not even challenge because challenge would imply because challenge would imply the thing could be actually difficult if you build everything right the mode is a walk the mode is just a cakewalk even with the extra grenier resistance it's still a cakewalk and even and even then, the sentients have proven to be just as much as a just as much a threat to the Grenier as they are to the Tenno. So, it would make it, it would have made more sense for Rock to not be sending the Grenier out after us while we're busy dealing with the sentient threat. But and again. I don't know. But then again, I don't know what they're thinking. And this is just... 
this is just part of a long line of mistakes that Digital Extremes has been making recently in regards to Warframe. Starting with the Old Blood up update, which added in the Kuva Liches. Excellent idea, by the way. Essentially a Warframe equivalent of the Nemesis system from the Middle Earth, from the Middle Earth games. Where you, have an, where you have your own personal Grenier enemy that is more tailored that is more tailored to your playstyle, able to actually count able to counter your picks when it comes to warframes and generally be a thorn in your side that grows alongside you. However, they become however the the execution of the idea is not is not exactly the best. I mean at the moment, I have a second Kuvalich. I beat my first one, and I have a pistol, which I currently have equipped on my Necros build. I'm probably thinking about maybe switching it out for a different weapon, but for now, I just have it as a trophy, considering that Necros was the frame that I used to create my Lich. I'm probably just going to spend a bit more time going through this mission. Just collecting stuff and killing some extra enemies. But, anyway. I'm on my second Lich, and honestly, I just feel tired of doing the Kuva Lich. I mean, yeah, I appreciate that they fixed it so that now the Kuva Lich no longer immediately kills you, when you met when you don't get the par when you don't get the requiem mod order wrong because that was a bit annoying i don't mind them leveling up if you fail but it was the fact that they in but it was the fact that you just got instantly killed whenever you did it it also came with, it also came with a whole bunch of extra issues as well which a lot of people weren't happy about myself included especially since we know that digital extremes can put out content that is a lot better polished than what we got and then speaking of polish oh god don't even get me started on railjack now don't get me wrong I like Railjack. Railjack was one of the updates that I was most hyped for because it was essentially a big co-op spaceship that you and your that you and a bunch of friends and or, that you and a bunch of friends or random players can fly. That sounds cool. Basically, basically, like Space Ninja Pirates. That is pretty freaking sweet. No, but again, when they released the update, you kind of get the fe you kind of got the feeling that it was a case of they pulled it out the oven way too early, and as a result, it feels ha it felt half baked. Like you had, like um, you had all sorts of you had bugs going. You had bugs going on at the arse, the economy ended up getting screwed up for a while. You even had set you even had sections of your freaking ship disappear in the middle of a mission. Which at the end of the day is never a goddamn good thing when it comes to a spaceship. Um I mean oh yeah, and also the fact that it got that you practically had to have a small fortune just to just to build the rail jack in the first place and to my annoyance when i was attempting the when i was attempting when i was attempting the quest before they made the pri before they made the resource cost changes i actually found out that you couldn't actually get clan members to donate to actually to donate to actually making the railjack act during the quest and you couldn't even share the quest with your clan once you start once the once 
once one member of the clan starts it up starts up the quest that's it only that one person could do it which is kind of irritating especially since when you rem especially when you re when you remember there are you only have a finite number of supplies what makes it even worse is that for one of the stages one one of the resources that's actually required are argon crystals which leave your inventory after 24 hours so essentially you can't so essentially for that stage it is a lot harder for you to do the whole thing or to do the whole process of gathering up resources then well gathering up all the resources then don't uh, then bulk placing them into the construction for the ship part and then leaving it be until the part until the part of the ship was finished for this one you had to make sure that as soon as you got all the argon crystals that you needed to make the railjack and components in the first place you had to go all the way to your, you had to go to your dry dock in your hat in your in your dojo donate all the argon crystals that you got so that way they were safely locked in and the hot and the regular uh, disappearing after 24 hours wouldn't happen then you had to go and get all your extra resources put them into the create put them into the creation of the railjack component and then wait the whole the whole process just ended up feeling a lot more convoluted than it needed to be just for that one section because of the addition of argon crystals argon now argon crystals are actually one of, are actually one of the components that I that I dread getting the most mostly because mostly because I know for a fact that whatever that whatever ends up happening I'm going to have to end up going through a massive slog just to get enough argon crystals to actually do the thing that I need them for in the first place. What makes things worse is even if you go to the lo that even if you go to the location on the star map where the where you're supposed to get the argon crystals, they are still what they are still some of the rarest rarest component they are still some of the rarest components you can actually find in the entire game. You can't even even trying to find the uh, crystal cluster I can't remember what it's called uh, oh yeah the argon cluster to get to gather a bulk of them it's even harder to find than just the crystals on their own which makes the whole whole thing just seem which commit which means that you can spend that you can just go to the same node on a node in the void like nine or ten times not getting an archon not getting an archon crystal so it just feels like you're just wasting your time now am I saying they need to increase the drop rate for the argon crystals no because I'm pretty sure there are people that enjoy the grind and for argon crystals I don't see where those people are coming from, but I respect their right to actually have that grind for the Argon Crystals, especially since a lot of the rewards that you get for making the Argon Crystals, I will admit, are actually kind of worth it. It... it. But... Yeah, and now we get to the... Now we get to the main crux of the argument, which is... Kind, which isn't actually content related. Digital extremes and the way that they've been handling communication with their fan, with their fan base, as well as the Warframe partners. Now, here's the thing: despite me having, well, despite me having, just oh, well, despite me having just over half. Actually, no, yeah, over half of all the current Warframes in the game. I am not a partner for Warframe. I do not get any of the benefits of the partnership program, mostly because I do not fit the criteria for the Warframe partnership program. In order to get into the partnership program for Warframe, 
you need to have about one that I think it's about 1,000 odd subscribers for YouTube. I only have 25. I am way off from being able to even apply for the partnership program. So I can so I so I can't def I can't say about the stuff that the partners have to go through in regards to how digital extremes are kind of treating them and actually make it sound somewhat genuine because as I said I'm not a Warframe partner however I can however I can speak on behalf of someone that actually plays the game as a aim as a regular player not as a partner but as a regular player who put time into the game has been playing it since it f near enough since it first came out on PC but switched over to PlayStation but switched over to PS4 Xbox One and even the Switch versions when they all came out because I enjoyed the game that much and I wanted to experience more I even have a I even have a number of personal favorite frames Names. key examples being in Necros, Mesa, Mag and even look and even Excalibur yes I like the poster boy sue me but to see but also one other but, also, but one other thing that I've been well, but one thing I've been saying to all the friends of mine that I've been trying to get into Warframe is about how good the community behind the game is the fact that the fact that Warframe is one of those communities where unlike in other games where if you make a mistake or your build isn't quite right you'll get you will get be, you'll get bemoaned and berated and basically just made to feel like you are never going to you are never going to amount to much in the entirety of the player base you will instead get mo you will instead get people get a ton of people looking at the looking at the way you play looking at the stuff that you got in your build and they'll basically go I see you're not exact I see you're not exactly doing great here let me give you a hand the warframe the warframe community is actually is actually considered to be one of the nicest one of the nicest wholesome and new player friendly communities in the entirety of gaming new play new I even like to well one thing that I've actually been wanting to try and do more in playing Warframe a lot is just trying to find new players see if they have a mission could be a quest line could be a story quest line could just be a node on the star map ask them if they need any help and just offer to help out because that is that to me is part of what Warframe is about the community the fact the fact that you can't that you don't have to be the best player in the world but if you're skilled enough to help so, to help a new player who wants to pick up the game to get better at the game then you know you should and you know you can do so and you'll also have the backing of other players who probably know more than you do I mean hell I can I mean hell I'm at the point where I could say I am at I should be doing endgame stuff and I actually have and someone actually helped me get there thanks Phoenix you know who you are and having experienced that in this community I do genuinely feel like I want to do that for someone else I want to be someone else's I want to be someone else's Phoenix I want to I don't know even as a content creator making content for making content based around Warframe I might I might not have the fault the follow that the follow base of channels such as I Flynn, Triboros, Ashisogi Tenno, uh, Sabuki, 
I hope I'm saying that right. And all the uh, and all the other Warframe partners and content creators, but I still feel like I can at least be on cl somewhere close to equal footing with them because this is a game where everyone just feels like they're part of one big community, and yeah, you're gonna have. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have your dickheads, your tox your toxic people, the ones who are basically just like, oh, you suck, kill yourself. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna have those ones, but the mo but it's more about the play. There's more about the nice players, the ones that are actually willing to help people out, and all that stuff. However, I bring this up because one of the other issues that has been affecting the state of Warframe recently has been the amount of toxic players that have been put into positions of power in regards to the in regards to the game's community. I'm not I'm not there is a certain streamer in mind that a lot of people have talked about. I am not really going to say his name because he has been known to make inflammatory he has been known to make accusations of Asians against people that that kind of just make their whole make their arguments against him mute but if you guys know who he is then yeah it's that guy and it's the fact that he's been that he's had all of these reports of toxic behavior towards the community and towards newer players of the game and he has he's still a partner and he had and he to the best of my knowledge has not been banned yet it is dis honestly it is disgusting that his behavior can actually go on and while yes the guy is actually openly is actually openly gay in the community. There are also other openly gay a con a. There are also other openly gay members of the Warframe community that are actually better people, and do actually war and do actually earn some level of respect, mainly because they treat mainly because. They fit the criteria that I said earlier, which is they are willing to help. They are willing to help newer players get better, and they are willing to treat it, and they're willing to treat the rest of the Warframe community as equals, rather than rather than people to step on. So that's my two bits about the current state of Warframe. Am I going to keep playing Warframe? Most likely because unlike a lot of the uh, because unlike a lot of the other content creators, there's still quite a bit of content that I have not been able to access yet. I've not been able to do the um, glo I've not been able to do the um, debt run or the debt runners. I believe that's what they're called. The giants, the giant corpus spider robots that you find in um, the Orvalis. Oh yeah, oh the profit takers. I've not been able to I've not been able to do the profit takers yet. Um, I still need to do a lot of stuff in the Plains of Eidolon, so I still have content that I can do that doesn't require me to have to tackle things such as as Operation Scarlet Spear or Railjack. Content, other content creators have said that they are temporarily taking a break from Warframe. I have heard about content creators such as Ashisogi Tenno, and I believe tr no, um, Retalius. Starting on Final Fantasy XIV. P.S. If you, P.S. If, if either of you two are watching this, please let please let me know. I it, oh I would be happy to make. Actually, wait. J wait, Jinzo. I'm on the European server. Let me know what. Let me know who you are. Um, let me let me know which. Let me know your character name, and your. 
or so and your um server and I would be happy to I don't know hang out shoot the shit you know that good st that good stuff but um <laughs> yeah I still have content that I can do in Warframe that means I don't have to worry about all the stuff that has kind of driven people away from the game am I still going to be doing content for Warframe Funnily enough, I have actually started working on a video as part of a new series that I'm planning on doing, which is heavily Warframe based. I'm, yeah, I'm in the middle of editing it now. But it should be ready at some point. It should be ready at some point this week. All, I'm, all I'll say is... It's the start of a series looking at the poss looking at hypothetical reworks that I've come up with for different Warframes. And if you know anything about my personal taste in Warframes, yeah, you can probably get yeah, you can probably take a good guess as to which Warframe is currently as to which Warframe is being covered in that video. But um yeah, that that's kind of really all I have to say. Digital Extremes, I know you guys try to put in the best you can. And I'm sorry to hear that it feels like... Like, that it sometimes feels like you guys are being attacked. Or just... Or just all that stuff. But... Honestly... Uh... I can guarantee you that a lot of what's being said by members of the community would not be said if it didn't come from a place of love. We as the community love the game that you created. We want to see it get better. We want there to be new content and to do. We want there to be a well, we want we want there to be a, a um, conversations with friends where it's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go on Warframe. Without it just be, without it devolving into, oh yeah, I'm gonna go on Warframe. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of grinding. Because at the moment, that's really all Warframe tends to be nowadays. It's just grind. Personally, I'm. Personally, I don't mind grinding. I can handle grinding, but not when it get, but not when it gets to some of the levels that you see in the game. And, but if it, if anything, I hope you guys can finally have the co can finally get back to having the cooperation and communication with your community that you had when you first released the game when you first released the game years ago I mean as I mean as I don't know as cheesy and as doomsday-ish as this sentence go, as this sentence is going to sound I want Warframe back and I'm pretty sure and I'm sure a lot and I know for a fact that a lot of people do too. We all want Warframe back. And we want the digital extremes that spoke to its community. That listened to feedback. That, ch that took bugs and exploits that people found in the game and turned them into full-fledged features. We want that digital extremes back. And we want that Warframe back. So, I'm going to say, you guys keep working the best you can on, the con on all that content. And, hopefully, hopefully one day, you guys might come on to a winner. We might, one, one day, we might get that new second dream. Or that knew the war within. That one bit of content that complete that completely saws the game up 
to a point where it's just like if you're not playing Warframe what the hell are you doing instead of it just being like if you're not playing War, if you're not playing Warframe it's probably for the best because in all fairness to this day I still say I still try and tell my friends to play Warframe but in the state that the game is in I just don't know how to feel about doing it because it almost feels like I'm telling people to just throw their time away I mean yeah there's a lot I mean yeah there's content for them to do that doesn't have to worry about all the that so that they don't have to worry about all the problem content and I'm and I'm pretty sure that by now a lot of the clans that are going a lot of the clans that will be hiring would have railjacks now anyway so at least there's that plus even you guys said that you're working on an update to fix a lot of the issues with railjacks so I mean there's that little there's that little silver lining and there's even that new warframe that you guys are working on bringing out I hope the I hope the search for a name on that goes well by the way but that's just not that's just my two piece on well that's just my two cents on Warframe and the state of Warframe I will still keep I will still keep doing Warframe content Warframe content's not going to be going away like I said I still have a lot of content that I can get through that means I don't have to worry about all the problem content I can take my time and I don't have to worry about it just being I've got nothing else to do, I might as well do Kuvaliches or Railjack or Scarlet Spear for the month that's still active. I can actually take time, focus on other things, and I can at least and I can at least have an enjoyable a somewhat enjoyable experience. And for the content creators that have temporarily le temp at least temporarily left Warframe, so Sabu so Sabuki. Um not sure about Eiflin again. Um Yeah. I hope eventually D the Digital Extremes releases a bit of content that entire that makes you guys want to come back. Because honestly, it just show that we step it would just show that we're starting to step in the right direction. No, there's not going to be an attempt at a uh, funny exit at a funny exit line for this one because honestly, it just doesn't feel right to try and do so. If you guys liked what you saw, then please leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, just just want to leave just want to leave off with this. Just stay safe during the whole COVID-19 thing. Try and be try and be good to everyone else. Don't forget to thank your don't forget to thank your local health workers who still put their lives on the line in order to make sure that everyone well to make sure that as many people as possible are able to recover from this debt. From this tragic virus that we are currently facing with and if we and hopefully we can get and hopefully we can all get through this just take care guys take care